Hi guys, Todd Optional here. I just wanted to give my take on the TiVo Tarantula 3D printer um, and some of the mods and some of the things I've come across in the assembly process on, the, on this particular machine. This machine's awesome uh, for what it is. It's a great 3D printer. Um, the build quality or the build on it, uh, the assembly and everything is really easy with the extruded aluminum. Um, it's pretty easy to set up and print it, it will print right out of the box. Uh, some of the mods and some of the things I've changed and added on to it um, is just pretty much my preference but then again it's some things that I've done and uh, you know if anybody else is interested in modding and changing and I have some things I'm going to be changing as uh, as I go uh, we have the single stepper up here for the z-axis I don't look at my sink it's gross um, <laughs> the single stepper here for the z-axis I'm gonna be adding another stepper over here um, I got the threaded rod and everything on the way for that it's just something I'm choosing to add on uh, the cooling fan is I think a must as far as an addition um, lights on the underside down here it's just a simple LED uh, lights hooked into the 12 volts back on the power supply let's see all the spaghetti going back there um, this isn't my first extruded aluminum build uh, well DIY machine made out of the extruded aluminum uh, I have an ox CNC machine that I run quite often uh, and I had some 6020 left over and I took the 4020 out that was there and put some 6020 in to uh, help hold the vertical extrusion here a little bit better it's definitely much much more secure uh, move the corner bracket from the bottom up to the top um, so that really holds uh, quite firm um, I moved the controller from here down here and that's just on the 4020 that came out from right here I just mounted it out here and uh, put the controller there I like the controller there uh, it's a little bit better for wire management um, I made these clips they just clip in to the center of the extrusion uh, let's see if I can see it good kind of like right there in the middle so it goes right up um, I had modified that clip to go ahead and do a filament guide that goes right up into the extruder uh, which is quite handy and very cool um, yeah piece of glass on top uh, just I use painters tape works pretty good uh, one of the things that I did find, a um, couple assembly videos show, which is which is cool and it works. Um, I was having some issues with it, so I went to Menards and I picked up a, uh, a box of the uh, number 10 uh, flat washers, which do really good as shims and spacers and just well, washers in general. Um, inside the wheels, the guys have taken the wheels apart here. For the carriages and have put the lock washers in there in between and if you don't really reef those down and I mean like really reef them down the wheels will wobble it kind of puts like a little wave to it because of the you know the nature of the lock washer it's kind of split so um, I put two of the flat washers in the middle and things have been straight I started having some funny prints couldn't level the bed it seemed like and then one day I was watching the X carriage move back and forth and it was wobbling up and down as it was going. It was waving. So uh, I just replaced those with the, uh, the flat washers. And, uh, you know, perfect, perfect little spacers. Uh, one of the things that I've done here on the Z axis, I had an extra 90 degree bracket, not from my kit, but just from building the CNC machine. And I just added it underneath here. Now it's just it's just mounted here. There's no hole in the bracket or anything up here for the Z. And it firms it up pretty good. I mean you're not gonna pull up on the bracket. Um, it's when it lifts, it'll go ahead and get a flex to it. Well that tightens it up pretty good. Uh, pretty happy with that. And of course some of the things. Oh, the other thing I'm gonna be adding here is I'm adding the uh, 
the rep wrap uh, hot end will be going on and one of the guys in the group had uh, designed up a carriage for it and uh, in the process right now printing everything out for that making sure everything's good and uh, some of the prints I've been able to do have, have turned out just awesome uh, both PLA and ABS uh, you know, alien uh, print out some knobs no this is something I was trying <laughs> I was trying and I come across this last night. I had it here in my extruder, but as we can see the extruders like really really close to there. I didn't even think about that, but I found out about it. But uh yeah, other than that, this is my tarantula. I love the hell out of it. It's an awesome machine. Um I highly recommend uh picking one up. Um I, I believe even if you don't have any experience in anything like this, you can Pull it out of the box, assemble it uh, with the build videos that people have been doing. It's been it's been great. Uh, lots of really good information, lots of how tos and do's and don'ts. Uh, totally recommend it. Uh, all right, well, later.